And in Melbourne, as we speak, Susie O'Brien from the Herald Sun is still with us. And Stephen Senatiempo in Canberra, breakfast host of Radio 2 C. I want to show both of you a little moment in sport. We're speaking about women's sport and how brilliantly it's going for Australia at the moment. Let's have a look at uh, this athlete winning a record in women's weightlifting in Canada. That's Anne Andres, 40 years old, a biological male who's a transgender woman now, identifies as a woman and just smashed that record. A lot of the women didn't bother competing against her, Susie. Is this fair play? I don't think it's fair play and I think it, it, it undermines the status of a lot of legitimate trans athletes who have to meet a lot of um, uh, rules in terms of hormones or um, anything else so that there's a level playing field. If you've got a man who says, I'm a woman, I can compete with other women, and then they go and beat them by 200 kilograms, it's an absolute farce. And I think it doesn't do women any service. It certainly doesn't do trans athletes who are working hard to, to be on the same biological level as women. Um, it's just a complete and utter debacle. And I think the, the female weightlifters of Canada have got every right to feel completely ripped off by this complete farce. Yeah, it's an important story because we're all revelling in the success of the Matildas and, and, and how that encourages yeah. girls in sport as well. And we all know girls have a high uh, participation rate in sport when they're young, but it drops off pretty rapidly in the teenage years, which is something that everybody thinks uh, ought to be addressed. And this sort of thing, having to come up against a transgender athlete sometimes is, is really not helping. I just want to show, before I go, come to you, Stephen, a little bit of uh, Anne Andre's speaking here, and it's followed. After her, you'll hear from Riley Gaines, a former swimmer. Have a look. I mean, standard bench in powerlifting competition for women... I literally don't understand why it's so bad. Let's rephrase that. Women's bench might be bad to you because you are a male who's gone through male puberty with a male amount of testosterone. Yeah, I mean, spot on. Here is this athlete dissing the women athletes because he turns up with the bio biology of a male. It's just shocking. Yeah, it really is. And, you know, I mean, sport is supposed to be the great leveller. It's supposed to be all about fairness. I mean, it's one of the principles of the Olympics. And, you know, I mean, when you look at situations like this, Billy Birmingham was joking about it 30 years ago, and now it's a reality that we've got biological men beating women in strength sports. I mean, let's be fair. Think about this. this is weightlifting where strength, bone density, muscle density is the key to actually being good at this sport. And we've got one competitor that has a vast advantage over everybody else and we're calling it a fair playing, a level playing field? Fair dinkum. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the world has gone crazy on this stuff and you won't expect uh, Canada to lead the way here, but it's, uh, we showed the other no. week how Miss Netherlands is a transgender person. And, uh, and Susie, you talk about, you know, there, there are going to be these cases. Uh, we do want transgender people to be able to play sport. There's all, always the option of playing sport in the biology that you were born, uh, you can always lift weights in the male category in that case and all these others. Yeah. And either that or you have transgender ca categories. It's got to be the solution, doesn't it, Susie? You can't have that physical advantage taken out against women. Well, I think a lot of sports have dealt with it by having standards where if you're over a particular hormone um, percentage or or if you're bigger and stronger, then you can't compete with the opposite set or the, the gender that you are um, assuming um, so that you have to um, be the same. There has to be some sort of level playing field. I think people don't believe that you should just be able to say you're a female and, and compete with females without being on the same level. It, 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 it just makes absolutely no sense. And as I say, there's a lot of people working very hard to accommodate trans athletes, but there has to be some sort of starting point where those people don't have a huge automatic biological advantage. But we also, well, in my view, I think they shouldn't be completely 
completely locked out and to say that they should just be competing in uh, transgender categories is kind of ridiculous because there's not enough people that fit into those categories for there to be any kind of com then, competition. Then then play then play with the, the males if, they, if that's what their biology yep. is. I, I don't know whether we've got a picture here, but the weightlifting coach in Canada to make a point, uh, a big bearded bloke just said, I'm identified himself as a male and then lifted more in, in, in another competition.